Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. The trend continues on FC24, and perfectly in line with most people's complaints about this game at the moment, we have another SBC that is not going straight into people's teams because it's not quite good enough. But it's also not a bad SBC. I want to talk about that, and of course, we have huge news about Player of the Month. That Mbappe, that Ben Yedder that we were talking about, well, we have a surprise about that SBC that's not even coming this week, but we'll talk about it because it was news yesterday. And speaking of news, Foot Fantasy, the next upcoming promo, we are starting to learn about how those cards are going to look and have the potential to be upgraded. So a lot to talk about today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content, which was basically just two SBCs, no objectives, no Evos. Like Evos, actually, before we go into SBCs, I was just looking at Evolutions and it's looking really quiet in here to be completely honest it's actually just dominated by future star evos it feels like after the future star academy and the future star paid evos go away it's like what else are we going to have here i feel like we're going to have to start to get some stuff this next promo for sure because it feels like evos have just been entirely taken over by the academy stuff um which i guess is fine but it's a lot of games and i think some of us are hoping for more it seems like they're on like an evo break at the moment for whatever reason they want us to focus on those academy ones for sure uh but we're not seeing any of those until at least friday for sure because they were not on the weekly tweet but let's talk about the sbc players and start off with the upgrade player pick that we knew was going to come out in some way shape or form but it came out as lower rated the 86 plus team of the group stage winter wild cards fc versus player pick it was an 87 last week but it was a one of three this time it's a one of four you get that extra slot that extra option and the player pick is of course pretty cheap as always guys it's a gamble player pick it's only 16 percent upvoted but if you want to put any little bit of time into the menus you can obviously get it done pretty easily with the 81 plus player pick and the craft and the grind i mean it's not a great player pick i'm gonna be honest it's one squad which is cool 85 rated i think with the team of the week so that is nice that it's just one squad to easily get done. But man, most of the pulls from that are not going to be that great. I can't even tell you who I packed from it yesterday because it wasn't that good. Um, but that's not the point of it, right? That's just kind of a fun gamble pick to do that is pretty cheap if you want to rinse through that and grind through that. It did make a little bit of that low tier fodder, as we mentioned in yesterday's video, go up 85 specifically since it was an 85 rated squad. Most of these are up about a thousand coins a card. They went from like 5.5, 5.6, up to about six and a half K, 6.6 K where they are now. Now that SBC is not refreshing today. It's a every couple day refresh. So we'll be able to do it again towards the end of the week. But there is an SBC that is refreshing today that we'll talk about in a little bit that can move the market in terms of an upgrade player pick. Now the other SBC is the talking point for today and that is the brand new pundit pick Axel de Sassi for of course his performance against Manchester City just this last weekend and this is another fun SBC right that's all that this is in my eyes it is not one that is supposed to go boom straight into most of our teams because it is not a meta card guys we're talking a two star three star medium high six foot three player with block plus not a terrible playstyle plus, but remember the John Stones Winter Wild Cards that came out? I just remember doing that SBC and thinking that he was going to be pretty solid. He ended up being a really mid card and he had block plus. I don't think block plus is that great. I mean, the AI blocks are crazy anyway. Why do you need and a better help with that? Like, you don't even need to help with that, right? He's got bruiser, he's got aerial, he's got power header and ping pass. He needed more defending stats and more defending traits, really. His stats look good. He needed more defending traits to be really a meta card and you know the price the stats it's not bad it's actually why if you kind of look at all those things he's actually pretty favored a lot of people like this card because i think it's just a fun card right he got plus 33 place pace 22 passing 14 dribbling and then eight and seven in the defense and physical spots um I think they could have just given him a few more playstyles, and this card would have been really good. But it's kind of obvious to see what EA wants this SBC to be. Just a fun one, right? Just because they're releasing it for 100,000 coins for a French Prem center back. This is... French center backs always 
are SBCs and players in this game that people like to try out. Think about Diakite, who is in the current promo team, right? I mean, he's only he's only 14,000 coins, and I would rather use this card with two playstyle pluses as a center back over this Desasi, in my opinion. But is Desasi, it's his first promo card of the year. It's, it's a fun one, right? But a lot of people are not happy with this at the same time because you see... On Footbin, he's got a 58% on the SBC upvote, and his card itself is like very upvoted compared to the downvotes. So people like this, but they don't at the same time. So what are the two ways you can view this? The first way is it's an L because it's not meta, and that's how most of the content has been on this game recently. You take a look at a lot of player SBCs. Uh, they've either been expensive and pretty good or like semi good or they've just been really really cheap like the jota not meta enough to sassy not meta enough a lot of the other sbc players that we've had netro neto sule the richardson card savio a lot of people are just like nah man this is not content that is moving the power curve up at all and it's not going to replace anybody in my team in terms of it being a better player so a lot of people are looking at this and saying nah this is an lsbc because of course I, like, I kind of tweeted about this yesterday, and that was my thought right off the bat when I saw this Desasi. I was like, why use this when you can use the most overpowered center back in the game who has been in the game since the start of the year, Gold Virgil Van Dyke? I know it's boring. I know he's the most meta card, though, and people want to use him. He's 46,000 coins on the market, and this card is 100K, right? That's the obvious, like, why would I do this when I have VVD type of situation. So that's, like, if you're in that mindset, you're thinking, okay, this card is an L, and it doesn't upgrade my team, so I don't want to do it. The flip side of the coin is, it's a W because it's a French Prem center back who got plus 33 pace for 100,000 coins, and honestly, it is pretty easy to craft. It's an 84 and an 85, two team of the weeks needed. It's not that difficult to get done. You could say, I'm going to do this instead of the player pick for the 86 plus, get a guaranteed Desasi card, and go have some a fun with a brand new card, you know, that... He may not get a better version than this for the rest of the year, especially for Evos, right? How are you going to get him to go up plus 33 pace? So if you're a Chelsea fan or if you're just building a French team with Premier League links, it's not a bad SBC. So it's a fun card to try out. And I feel like that's just I, I, honestly what we've been in for the past couple of weeks. Most cards have been fun cards to try out, fun SBCs to do, not necessarily worth upgrading your team and going above and beyond where the power curve is. It's just more and different cards to try out. So if you don't like that, you think it's an L. If you like that, you think it's okay. But that just, again, kind of what we talked about on Sunday with that video, just the current state of like the content of the game. I think that is, that's kind of the conundrum that we're stuck in right now. Most people are like, nah, that's an L and that's why they're not happy with the game. But other people are like, okay, it's a fun card to try. I'll go and do it. Now I will say that Desasi is upvoted and it's making a little impact on the market. Joe Gomez, Prem center backs in that lower range from 56K yesterday down to 45,000 coins. Some other French center backs um, have dipped a little bit as well in that lower range, right? This is a cheap SBC. So it's going to make those center backs drop on a little bit of a lower level. You know, I don't think like Thunderstruck Varan really would have like if somebody sold Thunderstruck Varan for this card, that would be silly because this card is like way, way above. I mean, OK, from 600K yesterday down to 540. I mean, I don't know. That looks kind of that's a big drop. But I mean, he does go from 560 to 600 every single day. So I guess if I see him at 540 again, I'll pick him up. And that, uh, that price was just after the content drop. So I wouldn't say there's a direct correlation between that card and the Sassy, but you know what I'm saying, right? It's a fun one. If you want to get it done, get it crafted, um, and then go on from there. Hopefully, though, I, I, do, I do hope that this weekend with the new promo upcoming, I hope we do get a bit of a boost to the power curve with the new cards that come out. And I'll talk about that a little bit at the end of the video. Now, we got to talk about Road to the Knockout. Road to the Finals. We're past the Knockouts. We're into the... Well, we are in the knockout stages now. We're going towards the final with Road to the Final cards. We had a, a couple good games yesterday. We have three cards that are coming out of the Champions League games yesterday getting upgrades because there was a draw in one of the games, and it was between PSV and Dortmund. Sule is going up to an 89. Boscagli is going to get a plus 2. With the new upgrade system, 86 is good to 88. He's going to get a plus 2. And that was an objective card. If you did the Road to the Final Tour objective that was out during the promo, 
That card actually kind of might look cracked, so watch out for that one. Speaking of a French center back, you might already have in your club. Maybe you don't do De Sassi because you're about to get that French center back as well. Um, so yeah, he's getting a plus two. Sule is getting a plus one. And Lautaro SBC, finally an SBC player that actually performs. Kimmich did not. Lautaro did. He's going to go to a 91. Hopefully this Friday when they go and upgrade the cards. I do want to point out Sule for a quick second because I actually bought a couple of these just recently, but his price went on a wild ride yesterday. The game was nil-nil. I think it was, what is it, like the start of the second half or somewhere around there. Maybe it was during the first half, actually, when Dortmund scored their first goal. Malin scored, and Sule, I was watching it, of course. We do this live on stream. We were watching on the market. Sule went from 330,000 coins up to 400 and about 50, 460K was, I think, the peak that he sold at. We were able to pick up a Sule on stream at 335 and sold it for 440, not even three, four minutes later because he's a rare card. People were all excited about them potentially winning the game, him getting the upgrade, and his card price just shot up like crazy. But then, of course, it came right back down. So Sule had a crazy spike, and that's where this was like the first best example of what can happen when you're watching one of these live games. If you see a goal scored and you're like right on, I mean like not watching a stream, you can't be on a stream, you gotta be watching like a live score app or something that updates the scores ASAP. You, then you go buy the card, you see it rise, so people are like, oh my goodness, he's gonna get the upgrade because they're winning this game. Yes, I know that a draw also upgrades the cards, but a goal is just way more hype and it kind of cements them as the only one getting upgraded and improves their chances for sure of getting upgraded, right, in that situation. So that's why Sule's card went up. It went up a lot more than I thought it was going to. He exploded and then he came back down um, and then he's actually going back up a little bit now. I was able to pick up with, with how high I saw him go yesterday. I was like, okay, this guy's rare. They're favored in the second leg for sure. Going to be at home. Dortmund versus PSV. So I went out and picked up um, a couple more Sule's at 330, 331, and 320. He's back up to 360 right now. I guess that card's overpriced, but I mean, he's really looking good. He's getting an 89 rated upgrade this weekend, and he's probably going to hopefully go to 90 rated in the next couple of weeks if they're able to win that second leg at home and move on to the next round. He would go up again. So it looks good for a card like this. That's why I bought three of those. That's something I might be able to sit on even for a couple of days and watch just at appreciate in price because, man, you continue to look at these road to the finals. Like, every day it feels like I'm looking at these cards and they're going up even more. Pedri plays today. He's 1 million coins. That might have been a bit of a rarity spike, but that's crazy. I remember when he was 750. Darwin Nunez goes up like 200,000 coins a day. Leal's almost 5 mil again. Gabriel Jesus and Arsenal play today. He's 3.7 million. Now, of course, selling in the hype is the best play because if you lose like Atletico Madrid did, then your card might go from 130,000 coins to 75K, which is where this card is right now. And really not out of the mix for sure, but that's something to be very, very careful with that Jimenez card. So selling in the hype, especially for a guy like Zambo Anguisa, right? Today, the live cards in action are um, Arsenal versus, is it Arsenal? Well, let me check the games. Yeah, it's Arsenal versus Porto, and then Napoli versus Barcelona. So those are the live games today. So we've got Zambo Anguisa against Pedri, and we've got Galino from that objective, same places where Boscagli was, versus Gabriel Jesus. So if you have any of these, sell on the hype, take the safe route, because I would hate to say, hate to see some of you guys lose coins on something like that. But these cards just look like they're going to continue to rise, even though we have maybe a new promo coming this weekend, or we do have a promo this weekend coming that will upgrade cards. These cards are out of packs, they're rare, and they're starting to get upgrades, which means there is hype for them, and not very many people are selling so that stuff is going crazy. So that's kind of what's happening with those cards on the market right now. Continue to watch those. They're great to trade with, but they are very expensive. So just be careful. Now, let's talk about more news that happened yesterday with Player of the Month League One. And this was honestly a madness, guys. This was tweeted out an hour before the content drop on the official site of where we get our news and information for League One Player of the Month. We were talking about Mbappe, Player of the Month. We were talking about Ben Yedder. And that's not who's winning. Martin Terrier has won League One Player of the Month. He's won the award. I don't know. I don't know who voted for Terrier. I, I mean, no offense against him. He actually does have a pretty decent card. And a lot of people have a crazy Evo version of Terrier through the finisher Evo with like um, Trivella Plus. But I mean, a lot of us were hoping for another Mbappe to craft a high 
like big ticket SBC player. If you have the 92 Mbappe, you could maybe upgrade it. That's what we were hoping, right? Or if you hadn't done a player of the month Mbappe, you could do this one and rock with it through like the rest of the game. Or Ben Yedder, just a card that hasn't got any specials yet this year. Get a special, have an SBC to craft. Well, none of those dreams are going to be realized because it's going to be Martin Terrier who is going to win this award. And I think he's going to end up, if you would compare the SBC prices probably for who would have the best card, he's probably going to have the lowest priced SBC, which will be nice for some people. But um, yeah, it's a little disappointing because I think we were hoping, we had our hopes set high. And at Martin Terrier Player of the Month, again, it's not going to look bad, but he needs a weak foot and a skill move upgrade. Um, and I mean, yeah, this is going to be a decent card. He's got good play styles, finesse, rapid, acrobatic, and aerial. He's six foot. He has lean body type. And he, again, the 3-3, three, three, we need a 4-4. Four, four. So hopefully EA give him a juice on this player of the month, but I don't have high hopes for it and is a little bit disappointing. And with that, of course, your high rated fodder is still low. I mean, 90s are now even lower, I think, because that was one SBC that people were hoping for to see, like an Mbappe, that would make that high rated stuff go up. And it's now down even lower, 43K for 90 rated, just because there's nothing right now that makes it look like those cards are going to go up in value but that SBC should be next week once again because we don't believe it's going to be this week with that not being a SBC that EA kind of promoted in their weekly tweet of content that was upcoming so with all that how's the market moving guys how is the market moving it was a pretty slow day yesterday I still have the Zaire Emery that I picked up for 1.75 holding on to that I mean he is a little bit low again 1.82 he was almost 2 million yesterday and he's so rare and he's getting hyped up a lot that I'm going to hold on to this card. If any of you guys bought with the Foot Champs rewards getting paid out on Tuesday, it happened last week with Team 1, and it happened yesterday again with Team 2. Olise definitely helped out by the Desassi SBC and those French Prem links. He went from 75k to 90,000 coins now. He is rising nice. Mukoko's up. He's 500k. Um, Hoyland's up like 20k. Palmer's up 300,000 coins. He was 3.2. Nico Williams was 400, I think we looked at last night. Now he's 440. Um, Xerxes up a little bit as well. So a lot of these cards are rising. Even the icons, uh, Smith is up like 30,000 coins. Rivaldo is up. He's 949. Um, Puyol is up. Wow. Beckham is up as well. So a lot of these cards, Ned that as well, they're rising. A lot of people are going out and trying these cards because yes, they are cheap. They're fun to try out. Um, and again, the fun aspect here for some of these with the double play style pluses, not the most insane cards, but still fun enough to try out. So GG's if you invested in those. I think you should be fine to hold on to those, to be honest. Um, it has, especially heading into a day where we maybe get some more news about what's coming with the Foot Fantasy promo. I think you're chilling to hold on to those. The market doesn't seem like it's going to do anything super duper crazy or crash or anything like that right now. So I think you're pretty fine to hold on to those, which is why I'm still holding on to like the Zyre Emery um, and some of these other cards that I'm still flipping. The market seems pretty safe at the moment now let's talk about today a little bit because there is one big SBC that could shake some things up but it's more so from a fodder perspective I think it might shake things up and that is the icon player pick yes the 88 plus the icon player pick that we had on Sunday that was actually pretty good that did impact the market a little bit then um, is coming back today now every time with an SBC refresh the impact is not as insane as the first time around um, but this one for sure will be one that a lot of people want to do today again 86, 86, and 87 rated squads. And on Sunday, the 86s went crazy. They're still inflated. They're 11,000 coins. I mean, they could go higher today for sure. Like, I can see them bouncing, I don't know, maybe to like 13K. On uh, Sunday, they went from 8.1 to 11. Yesterday, they were as low as 10,000 coins again. They go up to like 12.5. So if you can get any of these for like 10K, I think it'd be fine because they could spike to like 12 to 13 today because there will be people that want to go do this icon player pick again, especially because of how good it was on the weekend. So I would definitely watch out for the fodder. I don't think too much else moves besides 86s to 88s. Um, and even 88s didn't move that much before. I don't think they would move a ton now this time either. But that's something to watch out for today. And that's going to be probably the biggest piece of content is a refreshing SBC not something that would be brand new. Um, but if you have fodder already invested and you're waiting for the peak sell time, I think that time would probably be today. It just feels like, especially as a Wednesday, that's the normal day where you see the peak on fodder for the week. So I'd probably try to get out on some of that fodder after content today with a bit of a spike that you could see there. And uh, yeah, that'd be a good trade. Good time to get out on that. On that. Now, player SBC, guys, Udogi, is he coming? Is he not? He was leaked in the menus. He was leaked as well. 
He better be dropping still. Today, hopefully, is Udoki Day, okay? Spurs left back. A lot of people, myself included, want to put him into the glow-up Evo. And I hope he's today. It's either today or tomorrow. Like, today seems more of like a day for his type of SBC. And there is still the Sevilla center back, Bade, French center back, another one that is supposed to be released as well. That seems more like a Thursday SBC to me and my opinion. So I'm thinking Udogi today, tomorrow, um, Bade. We'll have to see. But regardless, those are the two SBCs left to go. If EA do not release Udogi, then we're going to have some upset people, mainly me. But yeah, I'm really hoping for this SBC because I think it'll be a little expensive. I think it might not be 250, 300 plus, but I will forego the icon pick if I can get this card in the club, especially with the play styles that he's going to get as well. Um, through that evolution, it will be a really nice card. So there's that. Hopefully we get Udogi today. I know a lot of people are looking forward to that. Team of the Week leaks, there's not a whole lot to ride home about here. We've got a Correa Team of the Week. Uh, that could be actually a pretty busted card if he gets a double boost and a high rating boost. I think he's 4-4 base. This is a card that's always kind of like really good with a left stick dribbling. Argentinian Lynx, Atletico Madrid, solid. Uh, Donnarumma, which if I had Road to the Knockouts Donnarumma, I would maybe be a slight bit worried unless you bought for like less than 100k just because a new version of Donnarumma is coming out it might impact that road to the final one obviously that's the live one um and it could continue to get upgraded of course but i just think a new version of Donnarumma today might make that card actually fall a little bit he's 140k and he's 90 rated um which i mean what's his next lowest rated card 88 so i'm assuming his new inform would be 89 as shown here but it could make the Donnarumma that is the live one dip a little bit just because of that. Another Odegaard coming out today, which actually could be a pretty decent card if they give him the right boost as well. We've got David Neres uh, that is coming out as a Team of the Week as well. So Team of the Week does not look as good. Of course, this last week was a crazy, crazy one with Holland, right? And some of these cards are already up. Like Holland's up 40,000 coins. Uh, then, of course, you had the Teo Hernandez and the Vinny. Not really looking to invest in any of these. Tail could continue to rise a bit. Holland could as well. Um, but yeah, those cards are already up. So I'm not really going to invest in any of those team leaks right now. Maybe if they come down during the weekend, I would. But it looks like more of a mid team league today. And the last thing to talk about is this. Tweeted out the upgrade path for the FC Fantasy. Right again, it's Foot Fantasy is what we know it as. FC Fantasy is what it'll be called this year. It's interesting, guys. This is a little bit different than what they've done in years past. You have the potential for four inform upgrades. A plus four for a lot of these cards is pretty crazy. So the base cards are going to come out pretty soon. Uh, and then for the first upgrade, it's a attacker or midfielder. The player achieves one goal or assist in the next four league games. It's all about the league games, guys. And we'll cover this and we'll talk about it a lot more in, in the uh, next couple of days when we get more information. But there are no skill move or weak foot boosts. And there are also no play style boosts as well. No play style pluses, no regular play style boosts. It's all stat boosts. So you get an upgrade for assisting. I'm guessing for the defenders, it would be a clean sheet as well. Uh, club wins two. Player makes three appearances. And then the fourth and final one here, I'm going to minimize the image so you can see it. Club scores 11 goals in the next four domestic league matches. That's going to be very difficult. Very, very difficult. But hey, if you know if your team goes off and scores you know four goals in the game, then maybe it's possible. But um, just depends on who the team is, who the club is, and what cards we get. Um, I have a little bit of hope for this promo, guys, because it always brings a little bit of hype. And this is a promo that they could potentially boost the power curve with a little bit. So... We will hope for that a little bit and wait for some more leaks. I do believe that we will get a loading screen today and a little bit more news about Fantasy Foot or Fantasy FC Fantasy. Some leaks of players that could be in the promo as well. I think that Grealish is a concept, but he might end up being in the promo. It's been a little bit since we had a Grealish card, so that is very possible. So watch out for that very closely today. We'll be talking about it more tomorrow if we get more news. Uh, but for that, I'll be hitting the 81 plus player pick even more today, getting a few cup games done. And just crafting my way through the menus, waiting for what in the world this FC Fantasy type of vibe could be. And the Udogi SBC, working on my Evos, all that good stuff right now. Uh, at least the 81 plus player pick is here. That is literally just holding this game together right now. The 81 plus player pick. So that's going to be the video uh, for today, guys. We'll talk more FC Fantasy in the future because that could be a banger promo. We'll get more of a vibe on it today as we see a loading screen, fingers crossed, and some more leaks. But yeah, that guys, that's the update for me today. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the Count. See you guys in the video tomorrow. Peace.